Okay, when last we spoke, we talked about the concept of um, lens power. And if we have parallel light coming through a lens, it gets focused to a point a certain distance away from that lens. And that distance is defined by the lens's power, assuming that the light entering the lens is parallel. If this distance is 25 centimeters, then we know that this is a plus four lens. Okay. Now, the concept of light getting focused to a point works if the lens is a spherical lens, okay? And we'll get into discrepancies in this when we talk about aberrations later. But for now, think of it as if the lens is a spherical lens, light gets focused to a single point. When I say spherical lens, what I mean is it's a lens that's cut from a glass sphere. So if we cut this sphere, we end up with something that's flat on one end and curved on the other. And that's what a spherical lens is. It doesn't look like this, where it's curved on the front, curved on the back. It looks like this, where it's curved on one side and flat on the other. And if you go to your lens tray, where your loose lenses are in the eye clinic, and you rub your thumb over one of the lenses there, you'll see, sure enough, that it's flat on one end and curved on the other end. Okay, so what we're going to get into today are cylindrical lenses. And the concept here is if a spherical lens is cut from a glass sphere, we can cut a lens from a glass cylinder. And if we cut a lens from this, we get something that looks like this. where it is flat on one side, just like the spherical lens is, and it is curved on the other side, okay? But if we run our thumb up and down on this direction of the curved side, it feels flat. But if we rub our fingers around back and forth in this direction, then we feel the curve. Okay, so much different than the spherical lens where it doesn't matter if we rub our finger on this direction or rub our finger on this direction, we always sense curve. Here, we feel no curve this way and a lot of curve this way. Okay, make sense? So a spherical lens, if we, have a, if we hold a spherical lens and we rotate this lens around, if we laid the spherical lens on the table and just spin it on the table, rotate it, it doesn't really matter. The, the lens is always going to kind of be the same. But if we take the, the cylindrical lens now and we rotate that around, there's a big difference. We see the lens is doing one thing if this way, but it's doing something else held this way. So now all of a sudden we get some orientation issues. It becomes important how we hold a cylindrical lens. Spherical lens doesn't matter. You can rotate it around. Cylindrical lens, very important. And the analogy is a football versus a soccer ball. If you put a soccer ball down because you're going to take a penalty kick, it doesn't matter exactly how you place it down. Soccer ball is kind of the same thing however you place it. But a football, if you're going to kick a field goal, it's very important that the ball be oriented upright rather than lying down if you're going to successfully kick a field goal. Okay, um, Okay. So, so with that in mind, let's look at a cylindrical lens. So a cylindrical lens looks like this, where this is the curved part. They're harder to draw than you think. And then this is the flat part. Now, if we were to shine a light through here, this light would get focused to a single point here. And if we were to shine two lights farther down, they would get focused to a point here. And if we were to shine two lights somewhere in the middle, two beams of light, they would get focused to a point somewhere in the middle. And what we find is that all of these focal points line up. And so what happens is if we were to shine a, a broad beam of light through the cylindrical lens, they would get focused to a line. 
And if the lens is held this way, the line would be vertical. If the lens were held this way, the line would be, if we were to focus all these rays of light through this lens, the line would be horizontal. Okay, so how we hold the lens will define how light is focused through it. The distance away from the lens that the light is focused to a point is the power of the cylindrical lens. Not focused to a point, focused to a line. The distance away that the light is focused to a line is the power of the lens. So if this distance were 33 centimeters, then this would be a plus three diopter cylindrical lens. So the way you figure out the power of a cylindrical lens is the same as the way you figure out the power of a spherical lens. The difference being, instead of the light being focused to a point, it's focused to a line. Okay? Um, now, a cylindrical lens is defined by two uh, characteristics. A spherical lens is defined by one. What is its power? A cylindrical lens is defined by two. Okay, because we have these two competing things now. We have what is the power, and then we have this issue of directionality. Okay, so if I have this cylindrical lens, remember the curvature is this way. Okay, that's where the power lies. So when light gets focused this way, that's where the maximum power is. Okay, so this way defines the power. But if I were to shine one light ray way up here in the top and another right light ray way up here in the bottom, there's no force to make these two beams converge here. These two beams will just go straight through. There's no power in that direction. There's no mode of force to make the light rays do this. So along this direction here, there's no power. And that is defined as the axis of the lens, the cylindrical lens. And that's the axis of the cylinder that the, the lens was cut from. Okay, so that's what the axis is. So each cylindrical lens is defined by two terms, the axis and the power. And they're 90 degrees away from each other. They're at right angles to each other, okay? Which is as far apart as they can get from each other. You can't get farther apart than 90 degrees because if you're at 100 degrees, it's really 80 degrees from the other side. So you have these two defining characteristics that are opposite to each other, 90 degrees apart. The, the maximum power of the lens is exactly in the opposite direction of the axis of the lens. Okay, so we'll get into more detail about defining the direction of the axis in the next presentation. For now, just go away with this concept that the power of a cylindrical lens is calculated similarly to the power of a spherical lens, just that the light gets focused to a line instead of to a point, and the lens has to be defined by this whole separate characteristics, which somehow defines the orientation of the axis, the direction of that axis, the meridian of that axis. And we'll get into that in the next talk.